your experience of healthcare is very different to someone else. What COVID-19 pandemic has done to the healthcare system is just kind of blow up the gaps. If you're an ethnic minority, you are disproportionately affected from every level of kind of uh, mortality to kind of serious complications to even just being infected in the first place. I started at medical school in 2014 um, and my intention was to become a surgeon. Um, and really what happened was I became really aware of the way in which the system is built and how a lot of it isn't relevant for today. I think sometimes modern medicine can feel like we've fixed so many problems, you know, we can cure X, Y, Z, we have this super innovative treatment. And yet for some people, even doing the basics isn't done right. This isn't just a really bad experience that happens once to a few people. This is an experience that many people um, have to go through many times. It still isn't talked about enough broadly across the healthcare system. And so it takes time for that knowledge and understanding and ability to critique to trickle down to medical school. Um, so directly from my experience, we've touched on elements, um, but it's been very surface level. My level of knowledge of the biases that exist was based on the stories. So based on family, friends, and what they had experienced in healthcare. Things were going in a way which wasn't typical or what they were expected from the healthcare system. I've also seen some elements of doctors being biased in their opinion and their kind of profiling of, of patients. I have experienced that a few times. During those times, the way other people who weren't of a certain demographic and background were treated was very different to how society is today. Um, across all levels, from gender to race, sexuality, you know, background. In those societies, we created a view of people um, that meant that they were placed as other, different, not as, you know, as we see things or, you know, progressively we still have work to do today. What excites me, I think, most about medicine is that you work, your work, your career is all about kind of being supportive to people when there is uncertainty and where they do need help in order to make progress in their life. Um, and also just, there's just a huge amount of advancement, things that seem science fiction a few centuries ago is now very much possible. What happened in doing this podcast was that it just became like super clear. It's like a Pandora's box of things just opened up that was almost really messy and very obvious of what the problem was. I think it's very much the first of its kind in telling these stories in this way. Um, and it really does a job of placing us in the zone of the patient, but also zooming out to, to what is the context behind their experiences. Anyone listening to this podcast will hopefully leave um, having listened to it with just a better nuanced understanding. There'll be some who will hear stories that they've never heard from before, and it will be a, a very um, kind of surprising experience to listen to. But I think for some people, it would very much be a mirror into their life and actually help them to feel like, you know, I'm not alone in some of the things I've experienced. I think more than anything, what I want this podcast to be able to do for people is to inspire, kind of educate, them to be a part of the change that needs to happen. I think if we can do that for a couple people, then I think this would be a massive success.